Let us now make the sprite more realistic in its movements by getting it to move its legs when she walks. This can be done by changing the physical look of an individual sprite under the section labeled Costumes. Go to Costumes and notice that there is a second image or costume of the same sprite with the legs and arms in different positions than that of the first image. We use a set of costumes for the sprite, each representing a different pose of the walking motion, like lifting a leg, lowering it. We use the next costume block to switch between these costumes rapidly, creating the illusion of smooth movement. At the same time, we use the move block to move the sprite a small distance each time the costume changes. We want sprite change costume and move forward one set of steps not just once but forever. So we use the forever loop. The forever loop in computer programming. This piece of code states that the sprite will change costume and move forward one set of steps not just once but forever. The sprite will not disappear off the screen but turn each time it reaches the end of the screen in order to continue walking. By using if on edge bounce block. To ensure that the sprite is standing upright and moving face front, go to the motion category and place. Set rotation style left to right. That's all for today. You've made great progress. Keep practicing and exploring, and you'll become a scratch coding pro in no time. See you in the next lesson. To complete the scratch learning course, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell for everyone to receive new videos. Thank you for following, and I wait for you to support the video with a like.